I'm Carl, I'm 21, and I play college baseball. So I can't wait to show this girl my big bat. Oh, that's the most romantic thing anyone has ever said to you. That's like the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to you. Best best friend, you got you getting butterflies in your stomach? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's because they're in your bowels. That's just diarrhea. I'm so done. You know, comedy is not my thing. So 2000s TV. Can't wait to show this girl my big back. Does it get worse? From here. Look, 2000s dating shows are literally the epitome of entertaining television, okay? Because what they do is they distract you from your really embarrassing dating show, as in your life, and they make you feel better about yourself. Anyway, we're not talking about next today. If these guys don't clean their teeth, it probably means they have smelly balls. No, we're not talking about Next. We're talking about a different TV show that I found. I've never actually seen this before, but I have seen a lot of dislikes on this video. And now I'm curious. You know, I saw the dislikes and I was like, wait, wait, best friend. We need to see this together. People were mad about it. I'm gonna make you watch this. Sit down. Haven't checked in on you in a while. Let me know if you're still single in the comments. Let's see. Now, the new series Chains of Love shatters the calm as one woman or man is chained to four members of the opposite sex 24 hours a day. Oh my god. Witness the anger. I wanna rip your voice box out, man. The honesty. Is sex your main interest in me? No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is this show? Oh my god, okay, let me just sum this up for you guys who didn't pick it up. So basically, um, one guy would basically be chained to four different girls that he would be simultaneously dating for 24 hours the entire day. They would be chained together. Or the other way around, like a girl chained to four guys. That sounds messed up. <laughs> That sounds problematic already. Like, I can already see this not- like, what if someone needs to use the bathroom? Okay. Hi, I'm Madison Michelle. Welcome to Chains of Love. <coughs> that sounds really feisty. <laughs> All right. Oh man, the editing! <laughs> okay. Chains of love. Alright, who's somebody you wanna get chained chained with? Hmm, I don't know. I wanna I, I gotta think about this actually. Let me know in the comments. This week, Andy, a Hollywood stunt man, uh, will be moving into uh, this glamorous house equipped with a gourmet kitchen, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, and a custom built bed for five. Oh my god, oh, those are gonna sleep together! <laughs> oh no! Uh oh! Uh oh, okay. As his chain mates, we have chosen four attractive women. Each girl represents attributes that Andy has said appeal to him. Being blonde? <laughs> what is this? I'm a dancer. All very PG. Not that kind of dancing. <laughs> is this a different girl? Is this the same? Andy has not yet met the girls. To try and make a good first impression, each woman has sent him a little treat to enjoy on his way to the house. I gotta tell you, I'm not a huge cookie fan. <laughs> oh no. Someone just made a big mistake. And he doesn't like the cookie. Okay. Black. I used to be a competitive bodybuilder. I tear it up in the gym and train like an absolute bugger. Oh, you look, look at the eyebrows! Keep it going and driven. <laughs> oh man. I can't take her seriously with those eyebrows. The 2000s, man. Imagine working out with your sunglasses only. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you, Kirsten. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Chocolate covered strawberries with little tuxedos on. That's very cute. All right. Are, are these different people? Like, I feel like I'm just looking at the same person. Someone was saying to me that I come off as being like a little too cerebral that I intimidate guys, but I'm in general. Like a do I'm a dork. I'm a <laughs> oh my god, she's so quirky. <laughs> okay. I, I love long hair. Nice girl with a bit of a twist. <laughs> okay, so those were the characters, right? So far, there's nothing that's pissing me off, right? Hi, I'm Amy. Hi. Amy, I'm Nikki. Nikki, hi. Nice to and meet this you. This is Vanessa. Vanessa, nice, nice to meet you. you. I'm Kirsten. 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 Okay. A distant bell summons the group into the ritual room where the chaining ceremony will begin. <laughs> what? Not the chaining ceremony. This is a hook. This is a cult. This is 
literally a whole cult. Okay. <clears throat> In a few minutes, you are all going to be chained together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. You will stay that way 24 hours a day for several days. Several days. Oh, that's not good. Somebody's bound to want to shit. Somebody's bound to want to go shit, you know? What happens then? Andy, there are going to be certain times when you must choose which of these women you want to release from the chain. You will know when those times come when you meet the locksmith. <laughs> the locksmith <laughs> oh, man. carries the key to your chains and $10,000 cash. Andy, when you release each woman, you must decide how much- Did that just say- what, Did you read that? What? Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. Money is scorecard of released woman's value. <laughs> oh, no! That is so messed up. What do you mean? So you're telling me he's gonna give her a certain amount of money from the $10,000 that dictates her value. Oh, this is bad. This is already bad. That money you feel that woman deserves. Now, can you all please stand? Andy, on your way over here, you opened up four treats. Which of those was your favorite? My favorite was the uh, chocolate covered strawberries with the little tuxedos. And which was your second favorite? That favorite candy bar of mine. Well, those were given to you by Kirsten and Amy. You guys get the best spots because you gave the best treats. This is the order that you guys are going to be chained, and now the time has arrived. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. Next time you meet the locksmith, it's going to be time for the first woman to go. Not the locksmith. To help Andy know his chainmates better, we provided him with some information. Prior to coming to the house, you all were shown videotapes of five men, asked to rate them in various categories. What you didn't know is that one of those men was me. Oh no, okay. Amy thought that I'm, <laughs> quote, perfect. Oh, uh, look at that. Am I blushing? Am I blushing? You are. I better blush now because in a minute I'm going to be like fuming on yours, right? Oh, my God. Vanessa thought that I was physically only cute. Nikki thought that I was hot. Oh. <laughs> she was like, can you stop reading my diary? She loves the body and the face. Uh, love the fact that, that I'm a stuntman. And <laughs> She's like... Can we not do this now? <laughs> Oh no, okay. Kirsten thought that I'm just too preppy. Huh? Too preppy, huh? She thinks that I only go after trophy girlfriends with money. Oh. I'd be, I'll be living in the Hamptons <laughs> with a minivan. <laughs> oh my god. Also make it up to you. I'm so sorry. That's not what I think anymore. You better start working. Oh, maybe. Whatever. Well, that's not good, because she's chained closest to him, isn't she? When I read Kirsten's comments, I, I, I was smiling and making light of it, but uh, underneath, I definitely was offended at some level. Underneath my underneath my ego was definitely really escaped. My ego was definitely... Her. Yeah, yeah. Underneath, when she said I was going to live in the Hamptons in a minivan, I was definitely devastated. My feelings were injured. Oh man, she ripped me apart. And I definitely had hurt feelings about it. The only person I'm not getting the competing thing from is Amy. She's probably my third favorite when it came to attractiveness. She's ranking pretty up there as far as, you know, personality. Throughout their time together, each member of the group has the opportunity to speak with us privately while others wear sound blocking headsets. Oh, okay. Vanessa, she likes to hear herself talk a bit. Nikki's made a few sort of insecure comments towards me. I think it's fairly see-through that she's trying a little too hard. I would love to be married. I would love to find someone me that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And that you really, truly need to be okay on your own as a human being without that happening. That, that's the most truthful statement I've heard out of you the whole night. Okay, you know what? Hang on. I'm having a slight problem with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was truthful to me. That was straightforward and truthful. I'm so confused. What are we fighting about? 
Wait, what are we fighting over? Like the, some of the other stuff that you've said tonight, I think it's you're on, but you're, you're you always lead it up with some sort of denial about something. I am just about the most honest, straightforward human being you can have. So you saying that I'm being dishonest? I don't think you've known me long enough, nor do I think you are in a place to be able to do that. You're absolutely right. I don't know you long enough, but I'm going to do the best I can to throw out what I feel you are about. Okay? If you have a problem with that, I'm not glad you're ranting it. I'm glad you're ranting it. Not dishonesty. It may not be. It may not be. I could be totally off base. That's there. Oh, let's go. Okay. Yeah, I may be very wrong about you. Yeah, it may not be that you're dishonest. Yeah. Is that an apology? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. The, the defensiveness that you're coming back at me at is is making me question it even more. It's not defensiveness, it's that you're pissing me off because I feel like you're standing on a high horse questioning everyone else. Wow, I'm, 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 we're gonna definitely rub the wrong way here. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Moment of truth. Yeah. They're all very, very fun people to be with and this is... Oh, this is so creepy, <laughs> I can't. It's gonna be very tough. I mean, I'm, I'm already feeling like stressed about the moment that I have to let somebody go. Okay, so they've made it through the first day. Okay, they've only fought once. That's promising. Vanessa and Nikki both are, are jealous of, of Kirsten and I because we are on the inside. You're at a definite disadvantage being on the outside. You're not next to him, you're not touching him, you're not connected to him. I'm using it to my advantage. <laughs> what is this trash? The first morning, as Andy showers and shaves, the women remain chained. Each person will have their opportunity for privacy in the bathroom. Okay. Okay, that's good. <laughs> oh, oysters. You like them sliding? Oh, right, down, right down. down. Oyster shooters. <laughs> <laughs> How do you explain this? How do you explain this? That was good. I'm yeah. gonna do that again. <laughs> Oh no! Oh! <laughs> this editing is sending me. Andy has just begun to know the girls, and now he must send one away. The amount Andy chooses to give reflects his opinion of that person. He's obviously gonna send Vanessa away. Right, because they've been clashing. I, I totally didn't expect this to be this hard. This person that I need to release is you, Vanessa. This is the amount I'm going to give you for leaving. This is what I think you deserve. $500 because I feel real bad. I really like you. I feel very bad. And it's $100. Because I think you can take the $100 and you can go to a bookstore and you can find a book on how to release some control. And I'm sorry that offended you. Man. <clears throat> Yikes. Yikes. Wow. She's going in. <laughs> it's a truth serum. Oh my god. That feels good. Okay. Mom still likes me. Right. So no <laughs> this is so bad, I can't. Just make it stop. What is this show? I'm so confused so far. What is going on? You know? What is this show? Somebody has to do it. Apparently I'm going down with it. Okay. Snuggling with me for a few seconds and then rolling over and snuggling with the other three women. It takes in bed. the edge off. I feel like I'm gonna come across as a tramp because I'm one of three women in a bed with a guy and I'm letting him touch me and then roll. Ooh, but it's not the show. <laughs> I also am interested in why you were jealous because I don't think she was jealous. Um, I don't know. I it, actually I was a little bit jealous. I have felt jealousy at times since the very beginning. What are you guys jealous about? Wait, do you even like the guy? This is a show, you're just, why don't you, I, I just go into the show and think, okay, I'm leaving with $10,000. <laughs> I want one-on-one -on -one attention. I don't like being second best to anyone. But you wake up and you act like nothing's wrong. 
And I also said that I was very comfortable with I this. would have respected you I more to say, yeah, maybe I do have some low self-esteem. Whoa! Calm down, Jamal. Who said she has low self-esteem? She has low self-esteem because she wanted to s snuggle with you. But why would I say that when it's not the truth? Well, what a stupid thing to say. <laughs> what a stupid thing to say. This dude. First, he tells Vanessa that she needs to buy a book on self-control. Kind of something along those lines. Very rudely so. And now he tells her she has low self-esteem. Calm down, Jamal. Where's all this hostility coming from? I'm just saying what I see. Oh, is this the locksmith? That was so awesome. Hey, check this yeah, out. Check this out. Awesome. Oh. He always appears when I don't no, think he's gonna no. appear. No. This is not the <laughs> This dude. I have to release somebody right now. We all know who he's gonna release. <laughs> he's gonna release the woman he dubbed has so low self-esteem because She's at the corner of the bed and she wants to snuggle. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. I'm in like a new stage right now in my life. It's not my time to take on that role as the caretaker of somebody who I feel self-esteem is kind of low. Oh my god. The audacity of this bitch. Oh my god, I want to fucking punch him in the face. I am not going to be the caretaker of someone who's got such low self-esteem. So the person that I'm releasing right now is you, Nikki. Now for the amount of money, I'm giving you $800 because I think you're wonderful and... Why don't they get like a last laugh? Why can't they like say something? The same reason that I let her go is uh, the same reason I feel bad for her. I feel bad for her? Oh my god, bitch, shut up. Oh, I hate people like this. I feel bad for her because of her low self-esteem. She doesn't have low self-esteem? You decided to diagnose her that way, bitch? It's pissing me off. I feel that her, her confidence is, is low. Oh my god, you know what? Just stop mirroring your own insecurities. Dude's just like deflecting. And here I am kind of giving her a shot. My man really thinks he's a savior. Here I am, like she's got really low self-esteem, you know, and here I am just kind of giving her a shot. Oh my God. I certainly have a very high self-esteem. Um, so I really don't know where that came from. I can't speak to why he thought that. Because he's a really shit judge of character. I think that he still has a lot of issues with his previous relationship. No, he has a lot of issues with himself. <laughs> I never wanted to be in the position that these girls were in. I sympathize with them 100%. He sympathizes with them. They're trying to date you. You know, I, I sympathize with them, actually. <laughs> them trying to date you is what deserves the sympathy. Good morning. Good morning. Come on in, your breakfast is ready. So I'm glad you guys are in good spirits because today we've created a couple of dates for you guys. Oh, okay. For these dates, you're all gonna still be chained together. If it's not your date, you will be a third wheel and you will not be allowed to participate. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Oh, I hate that! Oh no, that's horrible! Okay. During Kirsten's date, Amy must trail behind on a longer chain. I think you're making weak choices when it comes to trying to woo me. Really? Yeah. So what would be a good choice? I don't think you have much to lose at this point. You and I in our relationship cannot go any farther than we've already gone until we're alone. I'm not just there to impress him. I'm not gonna put on my fancy little dress and make him like me. If he doesn't, he does Okay, I like that. Um, this is How a is logistics that? nightmare. What are you looking for in a relationship? To feel comfortable in a relationship. Because I have been through a whole hell of a lot. And I don't want to get hurt. And, you know, no. This is so creepy because that other girl is literally just sitting there and going, <laughs> What's she saying? What is she saying so I don't say that. You're afraid that I'm gonna fall in love with you and get into a committed relationship with you. love? No, well, I'm just gonna say that. What? <laughs> this dude just doesn't, doesn't listen, right? Like, he just, he hears what he wants to hear, and then he just says something completely irrelevant, like, what? That's what you think that I'm afraid of with you. No. <gasps> what? He's such a shitty, like, judge of character. <laughs> guy thinks he's diagnosing the problem. Dr. Andy. Listen, Dr. Andy. <clears throat> You're not a doctor. I'm gonna mess around with him. 
What scares me about you is you, I think you're the type that's gonna wanna get married and have babies. That's horrific. Oh my god, that's horrible. That's so scary. That's so scary. What scares me about you is that you're the type wanna like fall in love and get married. What a horrible type. <laughs> I'll place a bet right down on the table right now that the next guy that you date that's a serious relationship is going to be your husband. That's interesting. I know, I don't think it's that interesting. I think that's pretty boring. <gasps> okay, Jamal. Okay, babe. <laughs> oh my god, what a loser. When he said, you know, I think I'll put money on the fact that the next guy you meet is going to be the one you marry. That really hurt me. What kind of guy you want to date says, um, yeah, well, the next guy you date is going to be your husband. Okay, so what are you? <laughs> A waste of my time? <laughs> what is this trap? That tension continues on the ride home. I feel like I start to express some opinions about something. Okay, well, maybe, and then I get cut off. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I, I, have, I have less faith in that what you're going to say is something important. And I, oh. <laughs> what? Oh my god, this guy has serious control issues. He kicks off Vanessa because he thinks she has control issues. Oh no, son, you should buy that book for yourself. She's like, you know, I feel like I'm trying to speak and then you always cut me off. And he's like, yeah, well, maybe if I felt like what you were going to say is going to be important. Jesus. Really? You don't think what I, what I say is important? I want you to get into it with me. Why do you want to get into it with everyone? Why do you want with to everyone? I'm talking about the freaking girls that I'm putting in a freaking house with. I'm getting frustrated with the fact that this is a hard decision for me to make. I don't feel like you're getting that. That, no, that, but that I just want to know about her. I don't feel that you and I are going to connect where I want to connect. You're not going to let me in. And that makes me feel rejected. What? What? She's... <laughs> She's trying to talk to you and you keep cutting her off. But why are you, why are you talking to me? Like, we can't connect. What, is there something in particular you want her to talk about? If she talked about you, would you then maybe, you know, not cut her off? To be like, Andy, you're so perfect. You're so beautiful. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah, and sometimes I feel like I'm also, and you were saying in the beginning, you were saying something interesting. Okay. Look at me. I'm upset. I feel bad. I care about you. Oh, shut! Shut the hell up! Somebody shut this mouth. Shut, shut this man's mouth right now. Shut the, sh I swear, I will shut your mouth with this. You, got, you guys want to know what this is? That's the rest of my, my wardrobe handle. I'm going to shut your damn mouth with... I do. So manipulative. I just don't know why you push me so hard. I don't like when people push so hard. I'm just trying to understand myself and I... It's painful for me to push this hard. Oh my God, you know what really sucks is that they want the money so they keep putting the blame on themselves, which is so messed up because at this point I'd be like, you know what, screw the money. Screw the money! Mm-mm, you talk about me. Oh, son, you talk about me. You disrespect me like that, and you will not see tomorrow. You know? <laughs> you will not see tomorrow. You will not see the sunrise. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I can't get it out, please don't hate me for that. Oh, my God. No, stop being... She has to play the victim card, you know, because she wants the money. So because she wants the money, she's going to have to play the victim card and make it seem like it's her that's the problem and not him. I sometimes am looking for a reaction from somebody, and maybe it is, you know, a manipulation in, in, in a way. I have opinions that are very strong, and most of the time, they're pretty close to right on. Oh my god, this dude really thinks he's all that. <laughs> Go and tell him. <laughs> okay. Really wanted to say, what, you feel like a big man now because you got her to cry? Exactly. Oh my god. Thank you, Kirsten. Yeah, you really think you did something, huh? He's like, yeah, like, a, yeah, like, I did that and I, I may be manipulative, but hey, I got the reaction that I needed. No! Wow! Let's get a reaction out of you. <laughs> what a bitch. I just want to I want to be so serious. I need to forget that Kirsten is behind us and that she's tagging along and it's just him and I on a real date. So let's cheers to us and a special night. Okay. Watch this go downhill real fast. So this is rice. Rice being a staple of life. So I'll tell you a little something down to earth. 
When I am in relationships, I have never once cheated on anyone. Aww. Aww. The bare minimum? That's so good. <laughs> Not even a kiss. Really? What? What, <laughs> what is that reaction? He's like, really? <gasps> Oh my god. Couldn't be me. <laughs> it's like, uh, what, do you, what is that reaction? What do you mean, really? That's the bare minimum. To not cheat when you're in a relationship. Fidelity is the bare minimum. He's like, really? That's insane. Last thing is the blackened catfish. This represents a spicy dish. So instead of telling you something spicy, I just thought I'd show you a little something spicy. Did we turn it off or? Okay. Oh, it's just the kiss. I forgot. The 2000s, man. <laughs> <coughs> oh, man, this is so bad. I feel like I'm sort of ridden with like guilt right now. No matter what happens, somebody's gonna get hurt, and I hate that. Oh, but you love doing that. What are you on about? No matter how things work out, I have faith that this is something. I'm with you on that. Oh. What does that mean? So if you kick her off and then you start dating the other one, you're like, yeah, I'll, I still got Amy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> y'all, it's him. Oh my God, who's it gonna be? So it's time for me to make my decision. And uh, before I do, I need to give you each 10 seconds to tell me why you should stay here with me. Okay. So we'll start with you. The reason I think I should stay is because I think that I'd like to finish off what we're talking about. I don't know, I would love to spend the last day with you. As sick as this makes me feel, I have to do it. But I think you both have offered me experiences that I didn't feel that I would get from this situation. But I have to go with my heart. This person I'm releasing. Is you, Amy. Oh my god. That's not you going with your heart, you asshole. <laughs> Amy gave it her all, right? He said she was the third attractive. She's probably my third favorite when it came to attractiveness. <laughs> among the girls and i think that's why he's sending her off despite the really like well the connection they've made okay the amount of money that i'm giving you is twelve hundred dollars only twelve hundred there's ten thousand dollars in the box and look at you you're like crying over the fact that you let her go that last moment with her was very very nice I'm disappointed because I think that we had a connection and I had to sit here and watch you do things with somebody else. I mean, I, had, I got to sit there while you guys were making out. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, you made that 10 times harder than it was. Why? But you came out with some selfish remark that made me feel 30 times worse. Selfish remark? What was it? Sorry, I didn't know no, how to react. You don't have to say I'm sorry. I'm just trying no, to make I you understand how I feel. No, I do have to say I'm sorry because A, you're saying that I'm selfish and I'm egotistical, but in the same sentence. In that moment. <laughs> This guy, all he does is throws insults around. Like, I haven't heard him compliment someone once this entire episode. This is a 40 minute long episode, which I'm gonna cut down to like a, a very small episode just for you guys to like kind of enjoy more than I am right now. And he hasn't said a single compliment, not once. He didn't even, didn't even call someone pretty, okay? The only time he sort of complimented someone was when he said, she's the third most attractive. <laughs> What is this? Like this ma my man's insulting every single woman he he was with. First one has control issues. Second one is um, has low self-esteem. Third one he said uh, she talks too much and the things she says are just not important. She should, everything she says is not important. Okay, and then the fourth one right now, she's egotistical and selfish. <laughs> what? Did, what? <laughs> Can't you say something nice? She, you're dating, you're dating. I made the wrong choice because she's not very selfish and not very egotistical. This man should never be in a relationship. Mm -mm. I'm not saying I think bad of you right now. I'm just saying I was disappointed in that. 
that's it. So that's the tension. I'm disappointed in you. Me on my almighty high horse. Me, Me on, on this, this grand, grand pedestal, pedestal looking, looking down, down upon me. thee. I am just extremely disappointed. I'm disappointed in you. Oh. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. <laughs> Disappoint, be disappointed, bitch. I can give a lesser shit and have a good time. Yeah, kind of. I was hoping that we could have a good time. I love that she's not making this easy for him. You know, Kirsten's like, you know, I, I'm the only one left here. I'm not. I'm not gonna make this fun. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna pinpoint the things that piss me off. We're gonna have a great time because we do get along. Trying to touch me? No. Um... Are you- Are you seeing what I'm seeing, bitch? Bitch, Dana! Oh my god, these are bad vibes. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Oh no, oh god, no, no. Red flag, red flag. Get out of there. Alright. Mm -hmm. the conversation we just had here, Faith. This is so creepy. It's the final day. Andy started this adventure chained to four women. Now only Kirsten remains. Andy must now decide if he wants to pursue a relationship. All right. If he really does, he must split the remaining $7,400 evenly and for the first time surrender the power to Kirsten. If Kirsten also wishes to pursue a relationship, she will be waiting in the courtyard. However, if she does not, then she will be gone with the money and the locksmith will be waiting for Andy. <laughs> oh man, okay. Andy, the time has come for you to release Kirsten and yourself from your chains. Great, you can just pass those over to me. Thank you. Congratulations. And now that you're unchained, the time has come for you to tell Kirsten if you would like to pursue a relationship with her. Uh, Kirsten, <laughs> I've had a great time with you. I really have. I, mean, I think you're wonderful. I mean, we've, we've laughed together and we've run around this house together and I, mean, I couldn't get away from you. <laughs> That's true. Um, but because of the stage I'm in in my life right now, I don't feel that our bond is strong enough for me to consider a serious relationship with you right now. Oh. Stop it! So she had to endure all that trash. Have you decided how much money you want to give Kirsten? Yes, I have. Okay. Kirsten, I'm, uh, I'm giving you $2,000. So thank you. Get out of here! This dude just- Oh my god, no! This is so... <laughs> Kirsten, choke this man. <laughs> end it right here, right now. You're wonderful, and I'm glad I ended up with you at the end of the four days. And good luck. Kirsten, we hope you've enjoyed yourself, and now it's time for you to go. Thanks. Bye. I was shocked. I mean, last night we were kissing and then today he let me go. It was cruel, but it was so typical. Not only were you kissing, but he was being suggestive to something more than just kissing. So what was he trying to do? And he doesn't know what he wants. He has major control issues, major fear of rejection issues, and he has to let go of that because it's not real life. This was the worst. This was the worst dating episode I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Oh my god. What a bitch. This Andy, so, what an asshole. I can't, I'm, I'm pissed. Oh, Jesus, this was so annoying. What is this? What is this? No wonder it has this many dislikes. Best friend, what do you think? What, is, what do you think? Oh man, tell me, tell me your opinion down in the comments below. Would you date... Would you date Andy? Or would you stay single? Or stay single was the right answer. Stay single was the right answer. Can't believe there's people like that in, in the world, you know? That's insane. First, he's 
he's a bitch to the girl over the control issues thing. Then he decides this other girl has low self-esteem. He decided. It was like, you have really low self-esteem. Just out of the blue, just out of nothing. The man's just <laughs> smacks her with low self-esteem. You know, he, he's, he reflects his own insecurities on her. And then he makes this other one cry, Amy, by saying, can you like stop? Uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna interrupt you. Everything you say is so unimportant. <laughs> what a- what, oh my god! And at the end, after using everyone, you know, after using this last girl as well, and potentially wanting to use her for something even more than just kissing, I got some really red- f major red flags and bad vibes from that scene. He goes, here's two thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars for four days. Five hundred dollars a day. It's not- that's not even worth it. That's not even worth it, Andy. No, no, no. You either give me the $10,000 or you will not see tomorrow. <laughs> or you will not see tomorrow, Andy. Well, uh, that's the 2000s dating show for you, best friend. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Would you like to see another episode of Chains of Love? Oh, yeah. And uh, have you thought about somebody you'd want to be chained to? <laughs> me? <laughs> Stop it, best friend. No, just kidding. Yeah, maybe now we can chain ourselves together. Sorry, just before it was just a little, there was just a little strong stench coming from your direction. Okay, but yeah, uh, would you like to see more? There's a lot worse as well. There's a, the 2000s is a beautiful place, okay? There's a lot of shows like this. So let me know if you enjoyed it and if you'd like a part two. 50,000 likes and we'll do a part two. 50,000 likes, all right? But yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. Oh my God, I mean, oh my God. Um, um, <laughs> I'm trying to speak French and my mind just went blank. Um.